Well, stop me if you've heard this before. 50% off merchandise store-wide. No money down. I do not have sexual relations with that woman. They're lies. They're all lies. Face it, we're lied to practically every single day. And if there's one guy who knows how to spot a lie, it's Carl Hausman. He's the author of Lies We Live By, Defeating Double Talk and Deception in Advertising, Politics, and the Media. And he's here today. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. Do you think uh, companies, institutions are lying more these days than ever before? I think so. I think that we're... Uh, overfed with information, but starved for time to figure it out. So maybe the lies aren't as blatant as they used to be, but they're a little bit trickier because they often involve half truth. Mm -hmm. Stuff that we hear and we can't really make sense out of, and it sounds too good to be true when it usually isn't. And what, what sort of companies are the worst? Well, it, just informally, from what I've seen, anecdotally, I'd say auto companies, anything to do with cars, I mean, it comes as a terrible shock to people. <laughs> and, uh, uh, telephone, yes, it ain't so. Yes, it ain't so. Telephone companies, credit cards mm -hmm. seem to be ripe uh, for deception. Uh, this is hard to believe, but politicians will occasionally tell some news. Uh, Even in your book, I, I'm afraid to say you talk about news occasionally. Long. Oh well, I, I talk about news as sometimes distorting uh, the information for the sake of, of ratings, or just because we're all human right. and and uh, things come out distorted sometimes because we see it through the eyes of fallible people. All right, thanks very much for being here. Okay. Anyway. Uh, no, but uh, what, what are some of the, the main kind of lies? You talk in your book about three, three main kind of lies. Well, what I do is I, I look at categories of lying with words, lying with images, and, and lying with numbers. And what I do is I have categories within them, uh, memorable categories, so people can remember the tricks of how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, one category, for example, is called the veiled variable, where you hide the var variable that makes the difference. Uh, and for example, this is a car. This is real. I didn't. I didn't make this up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make this up. Uh, this is a car ad that says zero down, one ninety nine a month. Now there's a veiled variable in here, which if you could put the Mount Palomar telescope somehow inside the Hubble telescope, mm -hmm. you could see that in the fine print down here it says zero down available. Available. Now that doesn't mean you're going to get this. Right. Uh, you can get zero down, but it's not going to be this one ninety nine a month. And underneath here, there's a horrible little time bomb, which actually says uh, it's really $3,000 down and a final balloon payment of $11,803. So the fine print, too. The, the fine print uh, really changes the rules. Now, I don't think anybody would really be stupid enough to go in and say, well, gee, I like the car so much, I'll give you the extra $11,000. But the point is, they're in the door. Mm -hmm. Another category, lying with images, I call the confusing counterfeit. This is the publisher's clearinghouse. Uh, I actually uh, got this. I uh, have not got my $31 million yet, and I'm still waiting. But, but this looks like registered mail, mm. but, but it's not. Um, it, it's signed off with different things. There's a spot on here that says it's checked, and we might be able to get a close-up of it. It says it's approved uh, USPS section S131.1.1. Looks okay, very okay. official. It is. I call the post office. That's part of the federal code. It authors you to, authorizes you to mail a letter. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're approved under that code. Okay. Um, we have, here's my prize schedule here. And you can see that at uh, 830, Housman, that's me, mm -hmm. was supposed to get my $31 million. I didn't get it because up in the fine print it says here that provided the recipient named above has and returns the winning number. And in your book you talk about ways of decoding lies or, or, or picking right. up half to I have various techniques of, first of all, recognizing what the methods are. Mm -hmm. The veiled variable precision garbage I talk about. That's where you have a very precise sounding result, but nobody tells you what went into it. Kind of like prime statistics. Mm -hmm. Prime statistics go down because in a lot of cities they fudge the numbers that go into it. Uh, so I tell people, look for those techniques. Look for what's left out, because mm -hmm. that's always the important part. And then make a decision after that. It's also interesting, just in news, you talk about, you, you sort of in your book point out how news is put together and how stories are kind of right. put, put together and, and how to kind of watch news more intelligently. I'd say watch for things like, um, watch for things such as video news releases that many, sta many stations news use. And those are video uh, sources supplied by the company. It might be, for example, when a marathon was run, I noticed that all the marathon runners were going over to this big tub of this uh, thirst quenching drink mm -hmm. and after the 15th one went over I began to wonder and I called up my news director friend and he said oh well we got that tape from the company that makes this 
stuff. Right. Now, inherently, that's not sinister, um, but it's just something else to look out for when you gauge all the information you get and you sift through it. Look for the best of it. And also in your book, you provide means to redress grievances. Right. Uh, I advise people that it's always much better to not let the money out of your pocket to begin with because it's so hard to get it back. But if something happens and you want to complain, I, I tell people don't be afraid to complain. Sometimes complaining, I look at complaining as a service because uh, uh, sometimes people don't know that there are people in their organizations who are doing this. So you're, you're doing somebody a favor by complaining. Uh, I tell them where to write, how to write the letter, uh, how to get the, the best results. But the basic caveat is try not to get stuck in the first place so you're not playing catch Okay, well, Carl Hoffman, thanks so much. For thanks a lot. And you're watching World News Now. That's no lie. <laughs>